This is Pivot's biggest feature yet, you guys. That's right. The Pivot Animator program can now do in-betweening. That means pose-to-pose -pose animating has become much more viable in Pivot Animator. Hey guys, it's Super Soup, and let's explore Pivot's new in-betweening feature. But first, you might be asking, where can you download this feature? The website shows huh? nothing. Well, actually, Pivot has been releasing updates on a semi-regular basis on their Discord. Just go to the announcements channel and download latest Pivot Animator version, May 2nd 10. Now let's go ahead and do an animation. Over here, I have laid the key poses of this jumping animation. Now, I can right-click on the frames I want an in-between on, and insert, and in-between. But here's the huge part. I can choose exactly how I want the in-between to look like, based on a percentage level. Isn't this great? So, let's do this. Speed up time. Notice how not all the new frames were because of the in-between feature, and there are times where I still have to manually adjust the figure's positions but the in-between maker has done around 75% of the in-betweens for me, which is a time saver for sure. Okay, let's look at this final example from an already so-called finished animation. Let's make the initial anticipation before throw slightly longer by adding some in-between frames and adjusting the percentage. Okay, now here's the result. I think it looks much better. 